Hello everyone, this is Donna and today I would like to share with you a layout that I'm doing on canvas. Um, this is just roughly put together and um, I am uh, trying to um, adjust the different elements. But um, before um, I go into that, I would just like to show you how um, I prepared this layout. So for the bottom, I've used canvas and then I've painted uh, the um, canvas with um, my current favorite, which is um, craft paint. It's just um, ac uh, acrylic paint. And this is from Peebo. I bought it from Panduro and it's number 63 linen. Okay. And then um, I sprayed uh, with um, this glimmer mist and the color is midnight blue and then I didn't let it dry I dabbed it off with some kitchen towel to get the blue um, on top and um, this um, uh, doily like um, paper is actually um, cardstock and uh, it is let me see where what the name is. Yeah, sometimes you buy random things and uh, you get it um, lying around. So it's from Creative Imaginations. It's very light there, and it's Narratives by Karen Russell. So I've had this for uh, lying in my stash, and I, I've even bought it in blue. I didn't realize that in black. So. I'm going to be using this for this layout because it gives a nice edge. So what I've done is I've uh, distressed the um, the paper, the doily paper underneath, and then um, you know added um, the different elements. And I've also got some cardstock here, you know, which is a sort of a lovely whitewashed um, designer paper, and also that is from Panduro. And what I've done is I have printed this uh, picture of my children on canvas because, um, and it's by Claudine Helmet sticky back canvas. And I thought that is handy because you can just glue it directly onto the um, layout. So I've got prima flowers and uh, all kinds of elements and once I decide on uh, I'm happy with the distressing and um, everything I'll glue um, the bits down and I'm also contemplating on adding a bit of gauze underneath the um, the picture so I prepared it by uh, mixing midnight blue with um, Irish English ivy and um, so that will go underneath and then I've also um, prepared some lays um, and for this lays I've also used this gold, golden terracotta with the other two combination so that the colors you know sort of match so that is what how much I've come to so far so I'm going to have a play around uh, with the elements and with the paper do a bit more distressing and once everything is um, uh, in place I will get back to you bye hello everyone Donna back again and I would like to show you the final um, canvas layout that I um, sort of briefly showed um, did a quick tutorial on how I go about putting this together so I'll start from the top um, what I did was I added the the, um, the gauze underneath and then I added the paper, the designer paper, on top of it um, and it was in distress and then some lace on top of the designer paper. Then the picture was backed onto um, designer paper as well and um, distressed. So that was tucked down. And then um, going on to the embellishments, um, I used quite a lot of I am roses flowers and then all these are I am roses flowers and then some Tim Holtz um, gears and then this is Prima wooden clock so that was an arrangement in the corner there then I had some stuff 
in my stash and I believe it's Kian Company so travel and um, this tag as well which um, I um, stamped with uh, the word adventure and then coming on to the bottom here sorry just get that in focus I uh, did a die cut of the Tim Holtz clock glued it down and then um, lots of I am roses flowers this is um, a bird from one of my um, from my stash and then this is a wooden um, leaf uh, embellishment that I had I painted it with um, Tim Holtz daubers and there's one underneath there as well and I made this um, bird's nest charm and then this is also a key and company um, easy chair you know beach chair which is nestling underneath the flowers there quite sweet and then on this corner I um, used a Tim Holtz on a plate stamped with um, I think seven gypsy stamp and it says dream and then again more Kay and company embellishments here and um, this I believe is making memories and then I hanged um, some charms that I made with some beads and then stuck one of these little cute um, tags from Prima Marketing. So that is basically how it turned out. I'm quite pleased with the way um, the whole thing looks and um, the colours and everything. So it's got that tropical um, kind of feel. And um, Yes, I'm going to work on my second next piece because um, I'm planning to make four of these to hang on um, uh, in my cottage or summer house. And it's got, um, the wall is uh, got a shabby chic look and um, I'm going to make a few more of these. So we'll get back to you when, I'm, when they are ready. Bye.